when I was in grade nine, the, the, the kids were wearing like these like sweater vests and like cords and things like that. And they had a party. And I remember I wanted to like, kind of look like, look like them to kind of fit in, I think for, for one day or, or whatever, just to, to kind of, to feel like that. But it didn't, it didn't feel very, very natural or, yeah. I mean, so sometimes like, sometimes really want to like, like fit in and, and, and be normal and, uh, um, you know, I feel like sometimes it could be, could be easier. Yeah, I, I grew up on a farm and uh, I was always really into to, to make believe and, and dressing up and stuff like that. Like, uh, really, like, really, I'm very similar to how I was as a little kid. I want to do things, you know, my way. I want to play dress up. I want to I want everything to be very romantic and special and my parents only had like five or six books on their bookshelf and I think that the images that were in those books were you know always like have inspired me in the same ways like my whole career. My dad had a, a book that was like a rolling like f like whatever it was like 25 years of Rolling Stone magazine or something like that and uh, I remember sitting like and looking at looking through it with him and he I would sit and look at it for like hours and look at the pictures. I was never, I never really read anything. I didn't, um, you know, a lot of people read and, and that helps their imagination, but I couldn't look at pictures for hours and hours and be very inspired by them. And, you know, my dad would be like, oh yeah, he was really cool. And I'd turn the page and be like, you know, whoever it was, it would be Jimi Hendrix or something like that. And be like, wow, like he, he was really cool. And I think that that was, always like really important that like everyone that I was shown that he told me was cool was like so unique so I always wanted to be I always wanted to be really unique as well like I, I took little pieces of all of those people that that I thought were cool and you know kind of you know rolled those into into what my style was or you know who I wanted to be I always did what I what I wanted to do I, I liked the music that I liked I wanted to you know, I liked wearing a band shirt that was a band that no one else listened to or, or wasn't into. Like, not to, you know, be sort of elitist or too cool or anything like that. I just always kind of liked the things that I liked and I, you know, and that th those things I felt like really shaped me. So I, I was proud of them and... I think I started telling people, like, when I was probably 16 years old that that I was going to be a famous photographer when I was older. So that that, that was important for like, it, that I was going to be important in that world. So, and I, and I had a lot of confidence about, about that. Like I, I kind of knew that's really, really what I wanted to do. And uh, yeah, and, and just started, started doing it. And then, and it was like the first thing that people like really reacted really well to that I did. The girls in the class would be like, "Ooh, like you know, take a take a picture of me, like you know, make me look pretty." And I, I kind of felt like a lot of power from that because I was like, kind of like a like I don't know, like a nerdy shy kid. And now the pretty girls in the class were like asking me to take pictures, so I got to hang out with them, and and it felt like it felt very exciting. I mean, it still is. It's like even in yeah, even in that same very basic way, it's still very exciting. So I moved from England to Canada in 1992, and I was nine years old. And uh, I mean, it, you, you know, I, I compare it to like other other people that that would move to a country and not even know how to speak a language. But I did come as like a, you know, a goofy like redhead that had a really strong accent, and it was it was very different. We moved to Prince Edward Island to a small town, and. Uh, we were very, very different. And it was, you know, some days it was great to be different because people thought we were interesting and, and stuff. And then some days it was, it was hard. We had a, a kid that uh, I rode the school bus with that like, you know, used to love to like pin our hands against the back of the school bus seat and like, and smack us in the face. And it was, it was, yeah, that, that kind of stuff was brutal. Like it was, yeah, it was it was really hard. It made us hate taking the bus. It made us, you know, it was hard hard enough to fit in as a new kid kind of thing. So it lasted for like most of our time that we lived on Prince Edward Island. So it was, uh, 
We lived there for four years, so probably four years, and then we moved to Ontario for to go to high school. Yeah, when I moved to Ontario, the bullying kind of changed. It was like a, it was less sort of like teasing about you know having an accent and 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 being different like that. It became, you know, more more teasing for other things. I think that I was like kind of late to hit puberty, so I was like still like even in like grade nine and ten, I was still kind of like like very much like a little boy. Like I wasn't like. Uh, you know, I wasn't like going to the parties and like making out with girls and, and smoking and, you know, experimenting with drugs or drinking. I was still kind of like, uh, I still wanted to, I still wanted to play and stuff. So I think that people, you know, that, that was kind of, kind of a funny thing. And like, you know, even physical things, like I didn't have like, you know, hair in my armpits or my balls until I was like, probably like, 16 so it was like you know you're kind of embarrassed to like shower with other kids and and things like that and like I don't know you, th you think that something's wrong with you because of because of because of that or like you know other you know other boys at that point seemed like like more like men I guess and that was kind of that was that was kind of weird yeah like I was really inspired by like quadrophenia so I, I really wanted to look like I was like a mod from the 60s so I'd go around like looking in these thrift stores for like these 60s like flat fronted like stay press pants they were called like uh, Levi's made them and a bunch of other companies made them so I found these pants and I'd look for them for a while so they were really really special to me but they were high waisted flat fronted pants and I I think too like I you know I said sort of earlier that like you know didn't hit puberty until probably like grade 10 kind of thing I remember wearing these pants to a party and feeling like you know, really like confident and that I was so cool in these pants and then like really being like mocked when I got there about like, you know, they were flat fronts and I didn't like, they didn't have much of a bulge in them. So I got like teased for like not having a dick, which was kind of like a, like, I don't know, just kind of a really weird thing because I felt like such a man. Like I felt like I was so cool in these pants and I, I don't know, I thought like the girls would think I was awesome and like the boys would like think I look real cool and stuff and uh, yeah, it was like a total, total backfire and uh, I think that the, the changes to your confidence, you know, make a, make, a, make, a, make a massive difference kind of thing. You get teased about, you know, a certain, you know, style of pants or clothes or something like that that you wear. I think you'd have a hard time like, you know, wearing it and feeling confident about it later. It definitely, you know, being bullied for me didn't want, didn't make me want to change and fit in. It made me want to stand out even more to, to prove to them that they were wrong. I remember being teased for wearing like a black biker jacket to school because people, you know, just thought that I'd look like, like Freddie Mercury. I like to look like Freddie Mercury. He was cool. Like it's a, you know, he was an individual and he stood out and, you know, I always like people that, that stood out. Being normal, being normal is so boring. It's, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not special and it's not, uh, it's not exciting and it's not, uh, yes, standing out, standing out is, is fun. It's a, it's a good thing. Like, I, I took my, my girlfriend's kid, I really wanted to take him out to a thrift store to go and, uh, you know, I love buying vintage clothes. I think it's so much fun, like the, the thrill of the find and you know, it's, you know, you can find stuff that, that can make you stand out. And I, I took him and we're looking through these racks of clothes and I think it'd be, you know, I'm trying to talk him into getting like a cool, like, you know, denim jacket or a leather jacket or, or an army jacket or something like that. And he, uh, I think I found it first. I pull out this like sequined, like this sequined women's blazer kind of thing. and. Uh, and he turns to me, he's like, wow, like, can I wear that? Is that like, you know, I want that. That's the jacket, that's what I want. And he, and he puts it on. And the moment he put this on, he like, you saw this like, like ray of light, like literally come out of this kid where he like, he felt absolutely like fabulous. Like he, he started moving and dancing and he's going like down the aisles and like, you know, the other like, cool people that are in the thrift store are like, you know, wow, you look great, great jacket, great find. And it was like, you could see him like, you know, 
like feel like a little bit of the magic that I was trying to inspire by going to go thrift shopping and finding something. And I think for like a, a, a moment in time, I was kind of like, oh shit kid, like, you know, I don't even know what your mom's gonna think of like you wearing this like jacket. Like, I don't want you to get teased at school. I don't want you to be, you know, this is, this is a women's jacket from the, from the like the late seventies. It's pretty wild. And uh, yeah, it, it was funny to feel the opposite of that where I was like, you know, nervous that he, that he would get teased or that he, was gonna stand too far out of, of, of being normal. But I, uh, yeah, it's what, what he wanted. And, and I think that, you know, with, with sort of like my help and me sort of saying that this was cool and this was a cool thing to do, you could see that that was inspiring for him, which I think is, is very cool. Like, I love that he wears that jacket. And it's, uh, yeah, it felt very special. It just, it kind of connected a whole circle of things that, I don't know, it, I think that it kind of taught me something about, you know, why I really like that stuff, you know, even more so than, than I thought it would. I, I would love to encourage people to, to, to be themselves, to stand out, to, you know, to, to really stand out, to stand out in the best possible way, like feel good. If things like that can make you feel great and it feels right to you, then you should 100% go for it. And, and who cares what anyone else thinks? Mm -hmm.